trophy yeah. wife. This is the first time I'm actually seeing it in my life. Look! Can oh I? Can I? my gosh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Switch it, switch it up my hand. There we go. Oh, oh. I, I didn't know. Oh, what's it happening? <sighs> this Look. is amazing. Wow. We should just go to Harvey Nichols and, you know, get the free swatches of everything. Do you wear it like this? No, oops. No! <laughs> It tastes like Rihanna. Oh. <laughs> you taste like Rihanna, bitch. I don't care, girl. Okay, no, anyway. hello, guys. Welcome back to my channel. And listen, <laughs> what is it? Three, two, one. Hello, guys. Welcome back to my channel. And we were gonna do listen together. You know what? I'm down. actually so disappointed in you. We're gonna count down and then go listen. Did you get pulled? I feel like you got pulled. Did you get A star AA or did you get three A's and come and ask them? <laughs> I'm gonna get blocked. Oh, what? what did you I got pulled. Is the actual thing that happens? <laughs> Hello, guys. Welcome back to my channel and listen, okay? Listen. You'd think some people who pretend that they're your fans, people who pretend that they're your friends, will get your channel. It's fine. You know what? Fake bitches out there expose them. No one will love you on yourself. That's what my mum told me. I love you so much. Okay, my name is Ibrahim for you. <laughs> Today, we are doing another okay. episode of Psychologists. What? Oh, oh. Do you like it? Yeah. Psychologists. Yeah. Like I said, TBS. because. Yes, psychological and behavioural science. Because I've been studying that course for the past 15 weeks, I feel like I have the right qualifications to tell you guys about your life. Mm, he, does. he does. Oh, by the way, guys, I have Hi. with me Chiedza. I forgot to introduce you. Hi, guys, my name is Chiedza. I go to Homerton College, Cambridge, studying Bye. English Bye. first year. Oy. I love it. I'm so glad to be speaking Ay. to you guys. Ay. Oh, shit. Bye. Yes. Wait, oh, okay. Oh, wow. Okay. We didn't get to it. What else do you do? I have a YouTube channel. Oh my god. And oh. what do you do on your YouTube channel? I speak about various things. Such as? Education. <laughs> and? Shoes. I, I speak a lot. My shoes. My shoe collection. On education and shoes. Oh my god. Are you why shoes own ended? <laughs> And she's just amazing. If you are a fan of me, you'll be a fan of Chedza. Check Thank her out. You. She does her weekly lives called Slay Bridge. Yeah. Come on. Come on, Slay. Because we have to bring them your seasoning. Of course. Basically, bring them your seasoning. That's copyrighted. Be careful with that. Oh, girl. Yeah, make sure it comes out of my mouth. <laughs> you know what I'm good. So, make sure you follow her, make sure you like her, make sure you just give her so much love and we'll be collabing more. And also, I've asked you guys to give me dilemmas on Instagram, so make sure you follow me on Instagram and on Snapchat, so follow us on that. This video is dedicated towards Ethan, who's such an amazing follower on Instagram and we talk all the time. Look at us talking. Come on, friendship. I try. I like to try with them as you love them. He is a good person to his followers. Thank you so much. Follow it. So. Hey Ibs, I'm finding it really hard to balance my A-levels at college. I want to make money, but I want to get good grades to pay for myself. What do I do? I can't be broke, but I need good grades. Is it worth it? This person, let's call them... Michael. Trophy. Michael? What kind of name is that? <laughs> doing A-levels and is doing a job. Mm. Cheza, did you do a job? I worked during... I think I started working from year 10, 2015. What? So I worked through yeah, year 10, year 11, year 12, year 13. I worked from year 10, four hours every Saturday throughout GCSE and then throughout A level. That job was with a girl with autism, so I'd take okay, her out. Okay. So the nature of that job was very different as well. But yeah, I worked during A levels, obviously under 16 hours a week. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's the rule, job. but you did four yeah. hours a week. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, four hours a week. so I basically did the same, uh, but not four hours a week. I actually worked. A zero hour contract job so oh, technically it was zero it. but um the average which i worked from when i do my a levels as and a2 mm -hmm. was 21 hours i kind of pushed it yeah i really really pushed it because i just needed money and like yeah my family just didn't help with um, i love my family mm, but like that i is... had to really fund myself in terms of like buying a desk buying a laptop buying a box exactly I there are pro some things your parents can't fund anymore is it worth it it depends. Depends mm. on the hours you're doing yeah. and how intense your A-levels are. Did you find it hard? Basically, what I had to do was towards exam season. So about like, because I left my revision last minute, so that's my fault, but towards exam season. <laughs> still got eight star AA. It was three stars. 
That's the end of the video. <laughs> wow. And if you want English advice, check out her channel because she Thank did you. that. Okay, come on, three A stars. Oh, make us of us look bad. <laughs> no, it's it's is the best to do it. It's I put two A stars and an A. I missed the other A star. It's some people are watching okay. this video. So anyways, <laughs> near the exam season. Yeah, I slowed down because. It, it was too risky and you need as much time as possible and I asked this on the Cambridge offer holders thing to anyone who has a part-time job are you going to continue working or not and I discovered some people had to during Cambridge some, during exam season oh okay yeah. even during exams because some people it was the only way they were going to get through so it really is situational like if you don't have to I would advise you cut it down how do you determine so, if you don't have to as in, if it's like not a matter of are you in some way or form providing for your family, are you like providing for like really important yourself, things? Maybe yourself you're like, academically, like yeah. are you buying yourself paper, buying that? If you don't need yeah. to do that, then if why you are you working? Need to, yeah. Do you know what they're definitely. working for? They're working for this, mm. this chain, this watch, all this crap. This, this Fenty Beauty, which <laughs> tastes beautiful. <laughs> That's what they're working. <laughs> I don't know what's wrong with me, But with me, it was half half. Like I needed to get, I needed to get a job because although like my parents were kind of there, mm -hmm. like I had to like I said I had to pay for it myself and yeah. I liked being independent because I was 18. Yeah, some people like that. I was 18 when I got my job and I was just like I want to be independent. Also my friends were working as well. Mm -hmm. I wanted to work as a brand. I kind of wanted to buy things. Mm -hmm. I wanted to save up for uni. I'm not gonna lie, I liked having an income. Yeah, I liked having that an income. Feeling I liked you being a level student yeah. and having an income. Mm -hmm. These times, where's that income gone? Uni. No, because I spent it all on before my gap year. So I remember school started at nine, mm. finished at four. Mm. So nine to four A levels. I then went on a bus from Clapton in Hackney to Angel in Islington. Five to nine, I worked on the call centre. Then I went oh. home at 10 and I would eat and I would study from Grind 10 up. to 2. Wow. And I had such bad sleep. And I'm telling you, that's why I took a gap year because I was drained. Mm. My dinner that's used so to be nice. two packets of noodles, a crisp, and a. A crisp. A crisp. A packet of crisp and, a, crisp. A, and a, a Rubicon. A Rubicon drink. I'm not gonna lie, I used to love this. I used to love this. And I was so unhealthy and I was so tired, but that's what I had to do. I had to grind. Having mm. said that, near our A levels, I was mm. like, Ibs, what are you doing? Yeah. Because this is what I think, right? Every time you're not doing an hour of work and not making that six pound, seven pound, eight pound, mm. that's an hour that you can study. Now we know that yeah. as Cambridge students, or just as students in general, you know that's work. in an not that, but in an hour, how much can you learn? Yeah, you can learn. How much can you advise? Time how much is can so you learn? Valuable. I feel like but I learned Time things right before so an exam, valuable. you know that. If you give me ten minutes before I can learn it so i feel like time is of the essence and if you don't have to work or if you don't have work to do like in terms of a job study because these times your money will be made after your education you can't Definitely. get your education again obviously you Definitely. can in some other ways but you can't get it as easy as you can now you can get a job mm. This is a ticket. Tonight. You can get, it's yeah, the yeah. ticket. You can get a job whenever you want. So right now we will be poor and Just we will be focus. broke. And we yeah. will shop at Primark even though I still love Primark. Oh, Primark's babe. Is that yeah. Sacrifice. If you have to, sacrifice. if you have to sacrifice little things now to <laughs> have good things afterwards, then it's worth it. Also, if you're in year 12, it's different. But if you're in year 13, you have a long summer. Remember, you finish early. Bitch, you got a long summer. So you can summer. work, work, work. Work. Yes, bitch, it's Work. long as hell. Okay, and I kind yeah. of feel like if you work for example exactly. like a company, yeah, like for example a minister Sainsbury, because one mm -hmm. of my the one person I used to teach is working Sainsbury, you better tell your your supervisor, your manager that you're a student. And if mm -hmm. they ain't gonna change your hours, they don't care if you're a student. They don't care if you fail. They are the enemy of progress. They are trying to bring yeah. you down, bitch. They don't want you to succeed. So I kind of feel like, bitch, what is more Pretty important right now? Yeah. Your A levels or making money? Exactly. Getting a job, of course, is so hard. But if you're passionate and you're determined for it, eventually you. You will believe me. Sometimes you need to just hold making money mm. so that you can hustle with your grades. Your grades yes, are your money. Definitely. They are they're your ticket. That's how to I feel. Any and this is the thing, right? In Cambridge, can we have a job? We're not allowed to work. If you go to Cambridge, you're not allowed you shouldn't. You shouldn't be working. Time constraints, eight weeks, essays or deadlines constantly. Where do you find the time? For me it's hard and because I wanted to work when I was at uni. For Told me it's hard to Told accept that. now, but it's kind of like, okay, if I get the grades I need, if I get the class, the degree I need, then I can make money after. There are people that 
can't be in those positions and obviously when I go home I have to work because you spend a lot of money at uni when I go home for the holidays I work and I work and I work but yeah not everyone's fortunate enough to be able to no, I've got the rich stay rich by acting poor and the poor stay poor by acting rich. Look at me, I'm the best example. Have I even paid you know, my rent this time? You know those people that do fake broke? And do fake, yeah. These times their parents are sending them 2k a month. Well, I'm doing but, fake rich. Know, yeah, yeah, me. Like, I, I, really I, 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 like I bought getting takeout all the time. We just had Nando's. <laughs> my, overdraft, it was expensive. my overdraft. My overdraft. No, no, that's my other account, but you know. <laughs> Okay, plus yeah. If you manage your money properly, which I have a video yeah. on, and if you I really, really work that. hard and like just proper understand what you do need and what you want, if you focus need on the things that you and need, want. and if yeah. you proper like go through the system of like ask your parents or ask your school, try and get bursary, try and get scholarships, mm. if you proper, proper do it, do your own independent research, you will be fine financially. Because I feel like we just have to trust the system for a bit. Yeah. We have to definitely. put our faith in the education and the welfare system just for a bit. Yeah, and it's a pray. couple of months. It's a couple of months. You will suffer fine. now, but you'll work hard in the future. And I feel like, first of all, every student at uni, well, the majority that I speak to mm. are broke. It's a norm to be broke. It's a norm. I feel like it's a have norm. Have you ever met? Yeah. Maybe at like Cambridge is different. Yeah. yeah, yeah okay, yeah. that's a lie. Cambridge is very, very different. But I feel like all my friends at other unis, it's a norm to be broke. We complain about being broke. It's a norm to eat bees on toast. It's a norm to freaking... You know, some people... Noodles. Drink used milk. Yeah. That's actually mm. disgusting. I want to some people expired that. bread. You know, uni students don't care about expiry dates. You I know, love I literally that. almost ate green bread last night. That's the picture, because I'm going to that picture. Oh my god. Yeah. Oh my god. Is it worth working to make money by sacrifice your grades? I personally don't think so. If yeah, you can I do don't, both. In overall, in the overall scope of things, no. If you can but, do both, and if you can work out when your holidays are, and you mm -hmm. can tell your supervisors, when your, your managers when your holidays are, and you can tell your school, and you can try and get money when you can, and mm -hmm. like just organise yourself, then yeah, it's worth it, because you can juggle both. Mm -hmm. But if it's actually affecting your grades, yeah, you make the decision If it's then. making an impact, then no. Okay, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Make sure you get this video... Should we say 3,000 likes? It's a bit of a stretch. Oh, wow. It's a bit of a stretch, I know. But my followers can do it. Make sure you follow me, Chad, so make sure you subscribe. We filmed a video on her channel as well, so make sure you watch that. Yes, that's so fun. And we will see you soon. Bye. Bye, guys. Are you excited yeah. to speak to my, to see, to be on my channel? Oh, yeah, we're on your channel. That sounds so <laughs> fake. No, like, we're on your channel. You're so No, like, I forgot we're filming. <laughs> I'm gonna call Lissy. No, oh. It's dedicated to Ethan, who is a, a, a such a lovely. I'll see you. Oh. Nando's the beat. <laughs> you, 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 you. Wow, 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 wow. Thoughts. <laughs> With what? Hello. To the to the left, left, to the left. Okay. Mm. Why do you drink your water like that? Like what? Like you. Somebody was head girl in your twelve. <laughs>